All right, so here we have it, the brand new MacBook Air. And this is the 15 inch version. And this is the new M4, which uh, is now replacing the M3, which came out about a year ago. And you can see it comes with the same kind of, if you're used to the new uh, MacBooks, they all kind of come the same. But this is in that blue. And I got to say, you know, at first I wasn't too sure, but it's actually growing on me. I actually kind of like it quite a bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to jump right in to see how this can perform because everybody's doing unboxings, but I want to see how it works with Final Cut Pro. So you can see I got an 8K clip here, and I actually have a whole bunch of 8K clips, and um, I even have some 60P uh, 8K video that's conformed to 24P, and we're going to do everything in better quality here, and let's go ahead and see how it plays. So as comparing to the uh, last year's model, the M3, um, it did pretty good um, with clips like this. But where it did struggle is when I started playing around with uh, uh, 60p uh, video. So this is supposed to be 23% faster and 26% faster, I guess, on the multi-core performance. But that really means nothing to me because I just want to see how it works in the real world. And... I went out and bought this laptop so you don't have to. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to do a Ken Burns. And a lot of times these uh, laptops, especially the non-pro versions, will kind of struggle with this. And see, you know, I'm able to zoom in on the 8K footage and it's still going to be 4K, even if I punch into 200%. So let's go ahead and test that out. Now I'm going to let it render. Let me go ahead and shift it so you can see it here. And let's see, is it finished? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. And let's go ahead and play it, see how it works. All right, let's go full screen. That looks good. Yeah, that looks clean. Zooming right in on the guy in the white pickup truck. So these are unedited clips. I just threw everything together here. I just wanted to play around with it a little bit and see what we can do. So let's see how it works. So it scrubs around the timeline, no problem. Now with the M3, it worked pretty good, but sometimes, you know, you have to go to the lesser quality, but it seems to be working fine here. Yeah. No, that's good. All right. Let's see what else we can do here. I'm going to find that end. I'm going to just cut it off. Just do a little nip tuck here. All right. So with these new laptops, I mean, basically you can kind of you don't really have to wait for it to render. You can just kind of move on the fly. And, you know, just a couple years ago, even with the M1, you know, you were sitting around. It did do it, but, you know, you were waiting around. And now with these, without even the Pro model, and really the real difference here would be the active cooling because, you know, you have no fan in these MacBook Airs. And, but it seems to be performing just fine with this. We'll also do an export test and see how that works. But uh, I'll go ahead and do some more of these Ken Burns crops because that tends to heat up the CPU. But here it seems to be performing very well. I really love it with this 8K footage because you can rearrange your shot quite a bit. And if you search my channel, you'll see I've done quite a few videos on this very subject. So there it is. You can see it rendering and you know, I could wait for it, but it's pretty fast. So eventually as you paused and so far when I've been going the clips, I haven't seen them a lot of times before it renders, you will see it stuttering a little bit, but it all looks really good. So we've seen that one before that one looks fine. And then we'll see how it works with the red Mercedes. Yeah, that one looks good. All right. 
and I'll do a few more and then we'll do an export test and see. But really, with one of these laptops now, you really don't need that pro model anymore. And this one, as I equipped it, is a, um, a base model. I just upped the hard drive to one terabyte. That's all I did with it. So they come with 16 gigabytes of RAM now, which they really should anyway. And really, you know, you might think, well, for editing or doing something like that, you really need more. As you can see here, you really don't because the hard drive is so fast when it needs more, it's going to borrow from the drive. And, you know, in the past, you know, that was a big no-no. But now with these computers, they're so fast. The hard drives are so fast, you know, if it exceeds that 16 gigabytes. Because really, if you're buying one of these laptops, you're not going to go up past 16 gigabytes. If you're going to do that, you might as well just get the Pro model. So let's see how it does with this. This one I did it about a 250% crop. And let's see how quickly it takes to do it. So we'll let it render it out and just go ahead. And there it is. It's pretty fast. Oh, slowing down a little bit, but this this one is a little bit a little bit more rendering on this one, but that's not too bad. Now you could go ahead and play it. It's just that it might stutter a little bit. And then whenever it pauses, then it's going to go ahead and render out. Well, let's go ahead and play it. It's all looking good. I just got to fix that end there. No, this looks good. Yep, you really can't beat these laptops because, as I said earlier, they're so powerful now. And you can see this is, we're probably exceeding what most people do. and not going to be using 8K footage. But you know what? In a couple years when 8K cameras are commonplace, because it's coming, you know, it's just like when we went from 2K to 4K, everybody said, ah, oh, you don't need that. Well, yeah, you do. Because it's not about the output resolution that you're putting. Yeah, 4K looks great but it's all about what you can do with the images. So this here, what we're looking at, this is 8K 60P footage that's been conformed to 24P. And this would be a problem with the um, last year's M3. It could do it, but it would stutter. So let's see how it works with this because it seems to be playing it just fine. So just, Go from there, and you can see we are at better quality. Let's go full screen. Looks pretty good. I don't see it stuttering at all. And this is footage from a Canon cinema camera. And while the Sony footage, the other one was Sony A7R5 footage 8K, with the Canon footage, it would struggle, especially with the slow motion. And this seems to be working just fine. That strobing you're seeing there, that's because I'm filming the screen. But if you saw it live, it looks perfect. The other thing, too, is they say these screens are the same, uh, the displays. But the display looks a, li it's a little bit better. The blacks are a little bit, I mean, it looks... It looks better. The blacks are definitely darker. It looks like it's of higher quality. I think the brightness is about the same. But, and then there's another advantage. The price went down. I believe it went down about $100. So you get more laptop for less money, which is really fantastic. Okay, so let's do the last Ken Burns crop just to show it off a little bit. And let's zoom in on that license plate. There we go. Let's take it up to close to 300%. All right, 300%. Okay, so we're still going to be like about 3K. So it's still going to look pretty good. Well, let's see how that looks. You can see it rendering there fast. All right, let's take it back a little bit. Let's go full screen. And let's see how it looks. That's why I really love this working with the 8K footage. 
because you can do things like this. Look at that. That's amazing. So we are already close. You can do so much with your footage. And the footage, you can't tell here, but the footage looks a lot better, especially in 8K. It just has a really, really nice look to it. But that's for an whole other subject right now. We're just trying to see if we can cut through this. Yep, seems fine. Like I said, the M3 would struggle with this Canon cinema footage in 8K 60p. Especially when it's conformed to 24p. So I wanted to include this clip in here, but it's doing great. There we go. I think it's time for an export test. That looks like an interesting place. Okay. So we're going to share it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to export as the default. And we can see here it's about five minutes worth of footage in 8K. And that's going to be a 74 gigabyte file. Yep. 8K footage does take up a lot of space. But... You can use some of those other options to manageably reduce the size. I'm going to go old school here with the stopwatch, and let's see how long it takes. Okay, so 1 minute and 48 seconds. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and play back the clip and see how it looks. Now, usually the M3, once the clips have been, you know, outputted, they could play them back pretty good. So I would expect this computer to do the same thing. And it seems to be working just fine. But all in all, if you have $100 cheaper and faster performance, I really see no reason to spend more money and get the pro model especially this one because it's the 15 inch screen 15.4 inch i believe so and it works really good it scrubs through the timeline i'll do some more tests so be sure to come back to my channel because i'm gonna run some tests up against the m3 and see how that does while i still have it because i think now it's time to get rid of the M3 and go with the M4. Because while I do have the Max, the studio model, this works great for all everything you'd want to do. I mean, it's really awesome. And let's go back and see, take a look at that blue color. I really like it. So really, it's like the silver with a hint of blue. And that screen, that screen does look nicer and it's the same exact spec, so I don't know what the difference is. So guys, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and come back to my channel for more videos. Have a great day.